Hi folks, this is Matt Lee down here at Funtime RV and today I want to talk to you about one of our lighter weight uh, toy boxes, the RPM Extreme. Um, as you can see, the door just flips down so that you can pull your motorcycles, your quads, you pull a golf cart. Your cargo capacity on this is over 4,000 pounds even though it only weighs 5,700 pounds so you can tow quite a bit in here. Um, half ton towable very easily even after you put say a quad or a golf cart or something like that you still stay under your your uh, tow rating for your half ton vehicle um, notice as you go up the ramp you've got a diamond plate threshold cover so that you don't have that gap and don't trip and fall as you're coming out of there um, you've got two main beds you've got a queen bed here over the garage area and you've got another, uh, the main bed up in the front that I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, but you can put this down and then whenever you go to uh, put your quads or whatever in there, you'll just lift this bed and it'll go up flush to the ceiling and then you have more room to pull everything in there. So let's go around to the front side. Notice you've got your vents here to open up so you don't have that gasoline smell. It'll vent out really well as you're going down the road. And how about this? How many times have you either seen uh, an RV with cracked fender wells, fender skirts, or uh, maybe you've had this happen, you've been going down the road in your own RV and you have a flat, have a blowout, what's the first thing that happens? It takes that whole plastic fender skirt off and you have to go order a new one. Well, these are a lot more durable not only for blowouts, but also as you're, uh, as you're driving your quads or whatever it is that you have around here, you don't accidentally hit the corner of it and tear it off. Notice also the nice aluminum wheels on there. It gives it a real good effect. Um, if you're outside doing things at night, you've got these lights up here, the halogen lights, and they are aimable, so you can move them around and get them wherever you want to. You've got some outside speakers, so you can have your tunes going, put the awning out, and have a really good time. The windows have a good tint to them. It's an 80-20 tint. And then notice all this pass-through storage. Uh, put your gear, put your fishing poles, lawn chairs, whatever it is you need, you've got plenty of room up here to do it. On the front side, you've got a storage rack on top and a ladder. So if you're a race fan, let me show you what you can do. This is a fully decked walk-on roof. so. You've got a little rail around the edge to keep you from falling off, or if you wanted to store uh, maybe your tote or something else up here as you're traveling, you can do that too. You've got a place to fasten it down. If you want to go up to the Motor Speedway and watch the races, you can sit up here in your lawn chairs and watch the races, or on 4th of July, go down to the lake and watch the fireworks, any number of things, but it's fully decked so that you're safe and won't go down to the inside. Speaking of that, let's go down and look on the inside. Let me show you how easy it is to put this, this uh, secondary bed up in the back in the toy box area. Go ahead, Tabitha. It's on a dual piston system, so the front end just goes up, then you take the back end and just lift it up like that, and there you go. Now it's out of the way so that you can pull your four-wheelers, your motorcycles, whatever it is you have on the inside. And notice, I'm 6'3", so there's still plenty of headroom in here. It's not like you're going to be walking in, ducking, or doing anything like that. Um, it gives you a real open feel. Sometimes you might just want to lay the back end of it down and use it like kind of like a porch area. Both of your gaucho couches or jackknife couches, whatever you call them, they'll fold up flat against the wall. Or if you're going to make them into a bed, they'll flip out like this. And you see they've got this little leg that'll flip around and come down if you're actually going to be using it as a bed. So you could put this other side down and have one huge bed all the way across here, depending on how many people you're going to sleep. You've got the option, uh, two people up here, at least two here if not more, and then two people in the front. So you could sleep six adults or if you don't mind getting a little closer, you could probably sleep quite a bit more. One thing you'll notice immediately when you walk on the inside of this, not only the roominess of it for such a smaller uh, type toy box, uh, but you'll notice the custom cherry interior. Um, you're not going to see this kind of upscale look in many toy boxes. Um, you've got lots of cabinet storage here. Notice up here, they give you the, the I guess, race-inspired net look 
to keep your things from coming out when you're going down the road because a lot of times you're going to be taking this off-road somewhere where you can enjoy your four-wheelers or motorcycles. You got the high-rise residential style faucet, um, your stove and oven and microwave. You got a gas electric water heater. Uh, you can just light them on electricity or on gas, either one from right here. Um, all your switches well out of children's reach. Uh, your speakers for the inside and outside. A nice two-door refrigerator freezer so you can keep all your food and stuff cold. And notice in this bathroom, I can actually stand up in here and still have some headroom left over. Um, there's not a lot of showers that I can do that in. Uh, you have a porcelain toilet as well. And then the sink is conveniently located outside the bathroom. So if somebody's in here taking a shower or going to the bathroom and somebody else needs to wash their hands or brush their teeth, that's separate. So you can have kind of two people getting ready at the same time. Now let's take a look at the bedroom. Notice underneath the bed, you're going to have a couple drawers of storage so that you can put some of your clothes. And then you have overhead storage over the top of the bed. And it's a good size queen bed so that you can get a little rest after you've been out playing with your toys in the great outdoors. In conclusion, this has been the RPM Extreme 23FB. That's a 23 foot front bedroom. Um, we do have, and also by RPM, the 18 foot and the 26 foot. So if you want to go a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, but still want to keep that nice interior look and some of the nice features that the RPM has, um, we've got those as well. But I think you'll agree that at 5,700 pounds with a 4,000 pound uh, cargo capacity, that you're getting quite a bit of toy box. Uh, for this size. So uh, we are the toy box specialists here at Funtime RV. Uh, we have many other makes, models, brands in stock. So whatever your needs are, whether it be golf carts, four-wheelers, um, motorcycles, whatever you want, even whether it's just a side loader to put that Harley up in occasionally or whether it's you know to take four or five four-wheelers um, every weekend to the races, just let us know because we've got them in stock. Again, my name is Matt Lee. I can be reached uh, Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at FuntimeRV.com, or you can call us at the main number anytime. Thanks.